It is a pop top opener. It is a hot sauce opener. There's also a bottle opener if you've got a root beer or beer bottle. And finally, it's a soda can opener. This is an amazing device, and it's going to replace five tools in your drawer in your kitchen. Mark Charles, first of all, welcome back. Nice to thank see you. Thank you, thank you. This is a fantastic five in one. It's from our friends at Kuhn Rakan, and it is all about polka dots. Now, what do we have in terms of colors? Let me take you through. I've got it for you here in plum. This color is buttercup. This is kiwi. Then I've got it in blue. There's your black. And finally, I have it for you in the red. This is K38502. So many of you are wondering, well, have people used this before who bought it on QVC? You bet they have and have given it customer top ratings on QVC.com. Mark Charles, this is just the better mousetrap. It is. So you love in the, the, the can opener, okay? This is the partner to it. What makes it special is the patent technology. Just like the can opener, this jar opener is patent. You've seen a thousand jar, jar openers out there, but what's special about this is the three stainless steel teeth. What's unique is you can easily move this around as quickly, as easy as this with one finger, but as it changes the diameter, wherever it stops, it locks. Into place, and you have stainless steel grabbing this. So, this is great for plastic, for metal, and for any of those medications or cough syrups. That's the push twist, the child proof ones that are really adult proof in some cases. Right. But this is how it works. So, you're going to take any jar, and what you're going to do is go large with the, the opening, so the largest it could, sit it over, and then what you're going to do is give it a nice tug. And I just want to show you what's happening here. All three points have to it be touched. It grips the jar. It lid. grips the jar. Watch this. Hold on to the jar, and just a little bit of a a thing it actually takes all the it's got a leverage to it so it opens I'm it all up. police Hang sorry on. Hang sorry on. I got you settle down there so the, the beautiful thing is that whether it's something like that or something that's actually got you can keep the wrapper and it's plastic watch this you can actually just twist this around with one finger and break through the plastic so you don't have to take any of the wrapping off when you've got anything that's got a clear wrap or paper wrap on it whether it's a plastic or a metal jar and the last thing I want to talk about with the jar opener is of course these push bottoms these are the push tops. This is amazing because this is supposed to be childproof and it's great to open it the first time. It's the second time when all that syrup congeals and creates a glue like effect on the edge. Watch this. You know this. what I had the biggest trouble with in my kitchen? Um, molasses jars. Molasses jars. Or honey jars. The second time you open it. The Correct. first time's easy, right? Because the molasses of the honey, to Mark Charles' point, gets all over the lid of the jar yep. and we put the lid back on. That's all fine and good if you go right back into it three seconds later. Yep. Three weeks later, Not so good. that honey or that molasses is now like cement. So being able to break that seal is going to be so important. But what you don't want to do is break the jar, right? That's right. So that's why this becomes so meaningful. Let me also tell you that this will take care of all those pop top lids. Now, before we yep. open it up, we're going to yep. show you what we mean by a pop top lid. Like that. There was a day when only cat food came with pop top lids. Now 60% of the cans are coming out like that. Soups, dog food, cat food, vegetables. Everybody's moving to this easy open. But easy is not Whoop. always so true, right? Comes right off, and again, you get that little that little great hook on there. That'll but always be part of it. I don't mean to be critical, but you're very messy. Sorry, today. I apologize. I mean, you're all over the place. I mean, you spilled the banana peppers. Now Sorry. the cream okay. of mushroom soup. I, Let's see how we do with the chili. You sauce. You need to oh, okay. the chili sauce. Back up, everybody. <laughs> so there's a lot of little. Um, Opening things like, and great for nail polish too, that you can't open up with this jar because look, it only goes to that size. So we figured let's do a little guy right there. It's a little octagon shape, it's hard to see, but it'll shape, shape around these. And what you can do is twist the bottle and see the way the plastic's there? It actually breaks it'll through. It'll break the, the seal, yeah. Like break the seal right through that plastic and pop out. So there's the third feature that we love about that. And then we're going to talk about two more. This one is my uh, my second favorite because it's a what do we call the church key bottle opener, mm -hmm. but it's stainless steel, so it's not going to crack or pit on you, and it's part of the mechanism. You don't have to find a little guy; it'll be in the door, in the drawer, anytime you need it. Look at that. Open that up, whether it's alcoholic or not. You've got that church key opener right there. So that's number four. And last but not least, there are a lot, couple times when you want to get inside soda cans. And again, but ladies, you don't want to ruin your manicure, so right? See that little guy right there? So it goes underneath. Oops, goes underneath and opens it up. And I'm being sloppy, so I know, I know, sorry. Someone shook the can. I am not, what is going on? Did you have a tough night last night? What's going on? I really don't. It's just a mess up in here. Maybe I'm nervous for my trivia question. Well, you ought to be, because it's difficult. All right. Again, to have that leverage on there, remember, you're just tightening it on, and all you're gonna do is, and it pops right off. It just gives that leverage. You don't need any dexterity. There's no strength needed. Instead of hitting that jar on the edge of the counter, 
or using a knife or calling someone stronger than you. Now, let me tell you <laughs> that um, uh, over 1,000 of these are gone. Let me go through colors again. My mother would always say, uh, sweetie, I just loosened it for you. That's all. <laughs> um, all right, so <laughs> here it is in the plum, most limited in the plum. This is buttercup. I have it for you in kiwi. This is blue. Don't forget, I also have black. And finally, we have it for you in red. Now, this red is a deeper red, more like a cinnamon. Yep. So remember, they're all polka dotted. All polka dotted. And they're custom. Even the yellow. I know you can't tell the yellow. Rated. Ones, so this is going to be great and perfect opportunity. Also, barbecue sauces. Breaking anything. You know what I'm thinking also? Uh, now, I don't know if it'll work on this because well, it's a child safety lid. Yeah. You know how mouthwash bottles have that yep. plastic ring yep. around the yep. top? Will it, it work on those? It works on those. It works Would on it? those. Okay. And look at I even did the, this is a little medication one just to show you how that little medication one popped up. Or Open. cold medicine. Like cold, cold medicine. Or cough syrup. syrup. Cough syrup every single time. So any of those medications, it'll help you with that with leverage. And I don't care what age you are, you always need a helping wait, wait, hand wait. in the Can kitchen. Can I show you one other thing? What? Open that up. Okay. This, oh, this you, will require you showed me this. a little wipe off. Kay. But Watch if you this. need to break the little aluminum, come in close here, guys. See the little aluminum seal on here? You can boop, open yeah. him up. That See was, there? That was David, David's little add on. You can also do that, like if you're buying actually, ibuprofen look, or whatever. It's not dirty. And if it, well, if it were, you could just wipe him clean. Yeah. So this is a great item. Over 2,000 of these are gone. So if you'd like it, be on the line for it. Most limited in the plum. Mark Charles, you're coming back later. I am. And uh, I'd brush up on your trivia if I were you. So I gotta get ready. What? Think about What's avocados. Okay. Eggs Benedict. Got it. Could be somewhere in that world. Got it. All right. I'm on it. If I were guess, if I were a betting man, I'd bet on avocados. But all right. Um, breakfast.